Crypto's been around for a while, but up until this point, you've had to sign on to an exchange, transfer your money in, buy the coin, and then you've had to decide how you're gonna store the thing. Well, everything just got a lot easier. The ASX now has its first ETF, and in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at it. The fund manager Beta Shares has launched a crypto ETF here in Australia on the ASX. This is the first of its kind. It's called the Crypto Innovators ETF. And this is significant because it's a further sign, if we needed any, that crypto has become an asset class that is now accepted by the major financial institutions. Either that, or they just got a whiff of the profits that will be up for grabs. Now the Beta Shares Crypto Innovators ETF, or CRYP, as its ASX ticker will be, may not quite be what you were expecting, but that could be a good thing. You see, the fund is not going to be investing in the coins themselves, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the like, but rather it will be investing in the businesses and the technology that underpin the crypto world. So if you're looking for direct exposure to particular coins like Bitcoin, well, at this point, you're still gonna to have to sign up to an exchange or a platform to get your hands on that. But you know what, I reckon that this won't be the first ETF that we're going to see on the ASX. There probably will be more to come out in the future that will have direct exposure to various coins. Right, so back to the Crypto Innovators ETF. Having exposure to the businesses and the tech that work in crypto might actually be a smarter play especially for conservative or more traditional investors who aren't sure about Bitcoin and the like, but want to have some exposure to cryptocurrencies. You see, crypto prices can be very volatile. It's true that some have made, in particular early adopters, have made millions, but also a lot of people lost their shirt by betting on the wrong coin. And that's the thing. It really isn't that far from gambling, especially when it comes to the smaller coins, the less established coins, they go up, they go down, you might make money, you might lose a lot as well. But that said, even people that don't necessarily back crypto in itself, most do agree that blockchain, which is the technology that underpins crypto, is useful and will likely have a future in the fintech space. And that technology surrounding crypto, that's more what this ETF will be focusing on. So let's jump onto the screen record and we'll take a closer look. Okay, here we are on the Beta Shares website. And we've landed here. We've got a bit of information about the CRYP uh, fund. So here it says, the fund provides investors with exposure to a portfolio of global companies at the forefront of the rapidly emerging crypto economy. It will aim to track the Bitwise Crypto Innovators Index. I'll go into some, uh, I'll show you a bit after what are the underlying securities that make up that index. The index is designed to capture the full breadth of the crypto ecosystem by providing exposure to pure play crypto companies whose balance sheets hold at least 75% in crypto assets and diverse, diversified companies with the crypto focused business lines. So now we'll go into the actual fund webpage and here we are. So this is easy enough to find if you just Google uh, Beta Shares Crypto ETF or CRYP, you're going to find it. And we've got all kinds of information here from overview, key facts, the holdings, the performance, uh, distributions and so on. So you can come in here and have a good look around. So it says here, investing in a sector with strong growth potential, um, aided by the performance of Bitcoin, Ethereum and other digital assets. Uh, it's also saying that they're providing a picks and shovels exposure to the companies. Now, if you're not familiar with this term picks and shovels, this relates to a saying that came out of the gold rush back in the day. And it basically goes something like, it wasn't the prospectors, the guys out there digging holes in the fields. They weren't the ones who made the real money. The guys that made the real money were the guys that were selling the shovels. So that's what they're trying to sort of do here in this fund. Not to make money itself off the uh, coin, the coins itself, but rather to make money off the infrastructure that goes to support the industry. And it goes on to say, convenient cost effective exposure to the crypto economy. And down here, they've got a warning and investment in CRYP should be considered very high risk. CRYP provides focused exposure to companies involved in servicing crypto asset markets or which have material investments in crypto assets. Crypto assets are highly speculative in nature. That's true but it also potentially could be a, uh, a very much a growing sector into the future. That's what you have to weigh up. 
We've got some pricing information here. It's currently priced at 11.28. Uh, it's gone up 0.8% on the previous day. Down to the profile. So at the moment, it's got $4 million in assets. That's quite low, really. But I guess it's only just launched. So you would expect that to climb. Uh, management cost 0.67%. There'll be a distribution at least annually. There will be DRP if you want to reinvest your dividends into new units. And it goes on to say that it's uh, who the administrator is and who the auditor is, KPMG, one of the big four accounting and audit firms. So it tracks the Bitwise Crypto Innovators Index, as I mentioned before. And here we go down and it tells us what exactly is held in the portfolio and they're waiting. So I've gone through and had a look at the top five holdings. I've had a look at their website. So first we've got Galaxy Digital. They're a technology driven financial services investment firm that work in the digital assets ecosystem. Uh, then we've got Silvergate. They're a provider of innovative financial infrastructure solutions and services to participants in the digital currency industry. And this is all from their website. Uh, Marathon Digital, they aim to build the largest mining operation in North America at one of the lowest energy costs. Coinbase, Coinbase, you might have heard of these guys. They're a pretty big crypto exchange in the US. They were actually the first crypto exchange to float and go public on the NASDAQ. That didn't happen too long ago. Uh, MicroStrategy, they provide business intelligence, mobile software, and cloud-based services. And we've also got Riot Blockchain, uh, another mining corp here, um, and some more blockchain technology. So at least you can go in and do further research as to what exactly this ETF is holding. So you can look at all the websites of these other companies here and see if that aligns with what you're looking to gain out of this ETF. And here we've got a sector allocation. So half of it's software, capital markets, banks, tech, hardware, IT, and so on. We can see here that 77%, or well actually most of it, 87% is from North America, and we got a little bit in China, that's probably more the mining and some of the hardware manufacturing. We've got some fun returns here, which there isn't in any information here as yet because it's only just launched, but we can see what the index has done, and this does aim to track the index. 470% over one year. It's quite a lot. So we're going to have yield information here. This will be your uh, essentially your dividend uh, percentage that you expect to get paid out, franking if applicable. Because most of it's from the US, there probably won't be very much franking on this at all. And then we've got some other fact sheets and things you can look at. So it's all here for you to have a good look, guys. Jump on, have a look, see what you think, and take it from there. All right, so what do I actually think about this thing? Well, as always, guys, there's no recommendations here. You need to do your own research, okay? But it could be that beta shares might have made a clever move here. I can see how it will appeal to some people. They're selling the shovels rather than digging the holes. And if you have a bit of an appetite for a little bit of risk, or maybe you just want some exposure to a growing sector, but you are maybe a bit scared off by holding the coins themselves, well, this could be a good thing in that it brings crypto to the masses in an easy and uncomplicated way. You buy it like a regular stock. No wallets, no keys, none of that. Buy the ETF and you're done. It is looking more and more like crypto or at least blockchain technology is here to stay. And this could be your ticket to get a piece of the action without the volatility that comes with owning Bitcoin or any other coin directly. But it's also important to note that they do say on the website that this is a high risk investment. You need to do your research. Think about the fundamentals behind crypto and blockchain. Think about the future and the applications it's going to have in broader industry. If you believe in it, maybe yeah, put some money into it. But don't go into this blindly. Make sure you've done your research and you are comfortable with the risk. Now, what will I do? Well, I might put a little bit of money into it. I'm not a huge crypto guy myself. I do believe that the philosophy behind it has some merit in that it's a decentralized money supply that doesn't have the risk of being inflated away and manipulated to the extent that a fiat currency does. I get that. I think that's a good thing. Um, also that it cuts out the middleman that you don't need a third party to broker a transaction. It's more like a peer-to-peer -peer service between two parties. I like that as well. 
Um, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll, if I do put some money in, I'll only put in a small percentage of my portfolio and then I'll take it from there. But you need to make your own call on that. Well, that's it for the vid, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found this even remotely useful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave the like button a tap. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, let me know down in the comments section what your thoughts are on this ETF and your thoughts around the broader crypto movement. Other than that, thanks for watching. And remember, guys, the easy path won't get you anywhere. Getting ahead requires hard work and sacrifice, but it's going to be worth it.